Hello, welcome to the studio. Today I am working on some older monoprints on tissue paper and these are pieces that I actually started probably before lockdown. Um, and I've changed the way I work really and, and um, the, the, the colours and the tones that I put on my pieces. So I wanted to kind of bring these up to a level that I like. So I'm adding um, tone, colour uh, and a bit of texture to these older prints. Uh, I call it remastering. So I hope you like it. Um, do click like if you do, subscribe to the channel, lots more at ruthander.co.uk including artwork to buy and also self-paced video courses about how to hand print. So I've been rooting around in uh, my old drawers and I found these monoprints. Um, now these were probably done before lockdown actually. Um, and they're what I call pure monoprints. So there's, these are on tissue paper and they are literally, you know, rolling colour out, putting the paper on, pressing onto the back and peeling it away again. And these have got loads of layers on already. Um, but I think I can do better. And... Um, I've definitely changed the way I work since I made these originally. So what I'd like to do is what I call remastering them. And I've picked these ones out, I mean, I've got more as well, but um, these are the ones I like the most that I think I can really do something with. And then the majority of them are seascapes. This one's a landscape. Uh, mostly they just need a bit more dark in them, a bit more tone. I've kind of not taken any risks with them originally and they just need a little something so I am going to see what I can add to these to make them better. So just rolling out some um, sort of very light duck egg blue sort of aqua green here and doing my usual thing of just rolling it straight on. I'm using my really nice roller here which doesn't leave too many roller marks, lovely even colour. And I'm using the same colour here to put ink onto a cardboard, this is stencil card, uh, a cardboard cutout and I just place that onto where I want the colour um, and this is one way of getting very defined form um, when you're monoprinting and I'm just taping this down, this is on dry ink so it shouldn't make any difference taping it down and then I just flip it over and burnish the back of the paper, uh, this takes quite a lot of burnishing now because this has many layers of ink on already um, so uh, that makes it a little bit harder to get the wet ink onto the paper. Um, but I just peel off the cardboard cutout and the tape and there we go. So I'm using um, a very soft uh, lavender grey here. Um, which I've pre-mixed and this is going to go on this piece here. This already has lots of lovely soft colour on so it's really quite complex um, and I'm just gently, softly, as softly as I can, rolling this onto the large cloud area and I'm trying not to leave any roller marks, I want this lovely and soft. And then um, this piece here, uh, well, I'm going to put some very dark uh, ink onto the bottom, on the kind of sea uh, water area. Uh, and that's just to add a bit of tonal contrast, really. There isn't really any tonal contrast in this, and I'd like to have some shadows and some darkness there. And I'm using the same colour to make a quite a large cloud that's going to go onto this other piece, another seascape here, which you'll see in a moment. Um, and I'm quite loosely just taking some of that ink off to create a cloud shape with a just a piece of kitchen towel um, and this creates nice painterly marks um, and I'm not really thinking too hard about it I'm just taking off a little bit around the edges and then I'm placing my paper on again this has many layers of ink on already so um, it won't be a really, really um, solid dark shape because the ink just won't go onto it. So I'm really burnishing this quite heavily here to try and get as much ink onto the piece as possible. And there we go. It's actually quite a soft cloud added on. 
and um, I've got some brighter colours here. I've got a nice light yellow, which I'm going to use um, on the same piece, and it's um, to add light and reflections. I just feel like it can be a little bit more complex, this piece, it can just have a little bit more added to it. So I'm adding some light to the sky here, just folding my piece so that I know where the ink is going to go. I'm just using my finger here to press down onto the back of the papers. You don't need anything fancy, you don't need a roller or a baron, you can just use your finger. Um, and I'm using that same colour, I'm just going to get a good, nice, fairly even roller full of ink here. Um, and I'm going to roll that directly onto the piece. Um, and I'm going to sort of go underneath where that light in the sky is so that it looks like a reflection, hopefully. And there we go. And I'm not going to put too much on there, I'm just letting the roller do the work and make its own marks. And then a slight change of direction here, I've got a really bright yellow, uh, sort of almost hmm, sort of ochre greeny yellow. And I want to add this to the lovely big cloud on the first piece I was working on. And again, just using my finger here to press onto the back of the paper. I want nice soft marks, I don't want anything too harsh. But I want that effect really where, uh, um, you know, the sun is catching the top of a cloud and there's a kind of stormy sky behind it. And I'm just adding a bit more definition by drawing onto the back of the, the piece here. And I'm just pressing very lightly just to get a little bit of definition on the top of the cloud there. And then I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. I'm going for a very bright colour and I'm going to put in quite a dark colour and I'm going to put it onto this rather abstract, almost abstract, um, seascape. So a lot of this is just kind of water, it's just soft colours, one on top of the other. Um, I just feel like it needs something a little extra. These are the pieces that I've been working on and what they've looked, at, looked like now. Um, so added quite a lot of lightness up here um, to just bring the whole thing up to a slightly different tone. Um, really took quite a big risk here with this one I'm adding I've added a little bit more orange there and I've actually added this sun as well and reflection so I might work a bit more on that one um, this one I'm really pleased with so we've got the darker cloud that I added plus this soft yellow light and reflection as well so I'm enjoying that and then this one here uh, with the yellow light and also this darkness down here so we've got that contrast in tones.